Hello, my name is Mark Thatcher, and I'm going to show you some of the options that you can change in EVASoft to customize EVASoft for your individual experience. I'm going to come up to Tools, and I'm going to select the Options item. Here I can select Preferences. These are general preferences. Like for example, I have checked off to disable the use of logins, so I can just double click the EVASoft icon on my desktop and have it launch without having to log in. You can go to the diagnosis view and you can select four x-rays to show at a time on the diagnosis view, one x-ray at a time, or the default standard, two x-rays at a time, which is what we recommend. If you are integrating the software with a practice management software through a bridge like our Pro Integrate or another built-in bridge, you can click on practice management bridge options here and check off to enable the practice management mode. You can also select which tab you will start in when you click the integration button. So I will move it over to the acquire tab. And now whenever I am in my practice management software and I click on the pro integrate icon, it will automatically open up EVASoft into the acquire tab, ready to take x-rays. I will come to my acquire tab options I can set the default as a sequence capture mode, which will capture a series of x-rays as opposed to endo capture mode. I can also change what my default layout is. Here I am going to list it as a full mouth examination because that is my preference. But if you make your own chart, you can select which chart will automatically be defaulted to. If you would like to have system sounds, you can check that on or off. We can come into our facility options and we can change what the default facility is. This is recommended so when you save an image and when you print an image, it will automatically list certain pieces of information like the address of the facility where the x-rays were taken. I will come into the dentist options and we can select our default system dentist. One of the demo dentists is Albert Einstein. I will select him. And now every time I enter a new patient, it will automatically select Albert Einstein as that patient's doctor of record. The database function is something to be used by our technical support staff or an IT personnel, as is the distributed file system options. You can leave those untouched. The demographics is uh, another option that you don't really need to alter. DICOM export is only used for when you are in a hospital setting. Most users are not. And we can also select on the patient setup where you could, the only option is to select is to automatically increment the patient IDs. This way, EVASoft can create a patient ID for a patient and you don't have to create your own. We will just automatically increment them. Patient one, patient two, patient three, and so on. When we click okay at the bottom, it will save all of our changes.